Ethan Crumbly is being represented by a state defense attorney, a DA. So Ethan's lawyer is being paid for by taxpayers. While Ethan's parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly, have hired a very expensive legal team. This is the same legal team that represented the U.S. Olympic gymnast doctor that was a disgrace. The gentleman that basically was accused of sexually harassing U.S. gymnasts over the years. This team helped him get his situation together. So they have this pricey legal team that is dealt with like really major public uh, cases before and their hopes are to either lessen the charges or get them off. Will this work? I don't know because a lot of times you see these pricey legal teams and they spit their jargon and they do whatever they do behind closed doors that we have no clue about and a lot of times charges are dropped or lessened meaning that they may not get charged with involuntary manslaughter they may be able to plead to something lesser you know what i'm saying a lesser charge which in their case they may not even see jail time so because they give it my son is definitely going to jail we're not paying for his lawyer but can't you get us off it just shows you how twisted this entire story is like there's no love in this family um it's really sick also police have a warrant to search um Andre Sakura's the man accused of aiding and abetting and helping them possibly hide during the police manhunt and missing their arraignment. They have a warrant to search his home. They haven't come out and said whether they found anything or not. That's where we are right now. But the school, it's a tea going on with the school. Because why won't y'all take the free help? Y'all don't want us to really find out what happened? Because the third party investigator only has to tell them what happened. They don't have to tell everybody else. Unless there's a warrant, unless those, like, unless the courts say we we have to take those papers, in which they probably will be entered, but who knows if we'll ever get the real investigation. Hmm. This is a lot. I'm going to stay on this story, like I said. Um, this was a bit of a long one, but there were a lot of updates since Monday. I didn't do a video yesterday, so I kind of put everything in one. So hopefully you all are getting a full scope of what is happening post this event post everyone being arrested and charged and basically awaiting court dates so the next court date the judge will basically send the case to trial both sides will present their evidence and we're gonna go from there and then the trial will get a trial date and then the trial will begin so um i'm sure once this trial begins these updates are going to be coming like two three times a day because this is, this is, this is a national case. There's going to be a lot of updates. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe for daily comment. I mean, daily content. Oh my goodness. And daily news. You know, we keep it real here. You miss a video, you miss a lot around this.